Hey y'all, it's Amy and welcome back to my channel. Thanks for joining me today. I have got a fun video for you guys today. We're going to do something different and I'm a little nervous about it. We are going to do one of those little chatty style get ready with me's. Um, I don't know how people do these videos because I just finished filming this and I think it's a hot mess. So I hope you guys don't think it's a total hot mess and you don't think it's totally terrible, but basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going over my recent ELF 50% off haul, okay? And I thought it would be fun to do it Emily Noel style, trying a bunch of new products on um, and showing you how they work and showing you what, you what I got based on the haul as I put it on my face. This is not a first impression. Well, it kind of is a first impression. It's not a review, okay? I don't really... I'm not fond of first impressions uh, videos because I don't think that's a good representation of what the product actually is because you haven't used it very much. But I do like kind of watching people put, put things on. Um, those videos are really long, so I don't watch them very frequently. But uh, I thought I'd do one anyway just to see, you know, how it went and blah, blah, blah. And I tell some interesting stories in there. But anyway, I'll, I digress. I wanted to show you guys what I got and I wanted to show you me putting it on. So basically, wait, go into the next part of the video. You'll get to see everything that I got and it's all on my face right now. So I hope you're interested to see this, you guys. And don't forget, before we go forward, make sure you subscribe, like this video, share it. Also, check my giveaway. I have two videos on my giveaway, two videos. I will link one video up here, one video. That's my first video. So if you see that card, that's my first video. Then I have a second video where I added more prizes. That's the other card, also up here. Guys, make sure you go watch both of those videos and you enter my giveaway. The giveaway link is in each of the videos, so all you gotta do is click on it. It'll send you to the, the giveaway site, Raffle Copters running my giveaway, and it will tell you what you need to do to enter, okay? The giveaway ends at the end of April. Um, so we're not going to go into too much detail about the giveaway, the prizes, and all that stuff. We're going to just get right into this little chat and get ready with me. Are you guys ready? I hope you have dinner in front of you because that, my friends, that dinner, lunch, or whatever is going to take you that long to get through this video. If you don't want to watch it, I don't blame you. So anyway, let's get started. Okay, gang, I thought that I would do this kind of Emily Noel style. You know how she gets new products and then she tries them on. So this is a pseudo tutorial. It's kind of one of those chatty get ready with me's. You know what I'm saying? Not uh, not fond of those kinds of videos, but I thought, mm, okay, well, I've got a bunch of new products here that I've never worn before. Maybe it'd be fun if they could see me putting them on for the very first time. This is not a review. This is not a first impression. Maybe a first impression, but let's just say I'm just going to see how they work and uh, have a little bit of fun with that. So the first thing that I got was the e.l.f. Mad for Matte Eyeshadow Palette in Jill Pop. <sighs> I've been wanting this for a while. I'm out of breath because I'm so excited. I've been wanting this for a while. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open it up. Okay, hang on one second. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. That's so pretty. Oh, I love it. I don't know what I'm going to do yet, but let's figure it out. Okay. So um, first I'm going to set my primer. Okay. So I'm going to use that shade down there on the end and I'm going to just dip my Sedona Lace EB17, which is my favorite brush to set my um, primer. And I'm just going to start in the crease and go up. Now I'm only going to be using this for, um, for uh, my, um, crease and outer corner and all of that stuff because it's matte. I prefer to have a matte shade on my lid. I'm sure you guys are kind of similar to me. I just don't really like all matte looks. I feel like matte shadows kind of are skippy and choppy on my lid. So I'm just going to do the other eye real quick. Okay, so I whipped out another brush. I got my Morphe M441 here and I am going to dip into the orange shade right there, okay? It's a safe transition color, so I'm going to dip into that with this, tap off that excess, and we're going to see how this goes. Okay, I'm going to load this up pretty good, though, because I heard that this one's a little bit more difficult to work with. Okay, so we're going to put that up in the crease. Okay, well, I don't think that's bad at all. I don't know about y'all, but I think that's pretty nice. So, uh, are you guys having a good week so far? I know it's only Tuesday. Well, it's Tuesday as I'm filming this, but uh, I've had a good week so far. I've had a fantastic week. Okay, so uh, yeah, I have a little uh, a little obsession with a certain celebrity, and uh, 
that celebrity would be Jeffrey Dean Morgan. Okay, so I have a little, I have a little uh, obsession with him, and uh, it's not just a little obsession; it's a crazy, insane obsession. Love that guy. I've been watching all of his stuff for years and years and years. And um, me and a couple of my friends have been getting into a battle over who's the biggest fan. I'm like, girls, just sit back. I got this. I got this. You know what? Y'all are crazy because you don't know nothing. You don't know nothing. Anyway, okay, so look, that's not bad, guys. Come on now. What do you think? Okay. Now, I probably sound like a crazy lunatic, but anyway. So we're just going to just do that another pass of that color before I move to the other eye. I want to just run that SM, my SMS Glam Brush, the, this, that purple one that I was telling you guys about, uh, over the color real quick just to blend it a little bit more. And then we're going to work on the uh, crease shade. Okay, so here's the thing. Okay, so Sunday, I've loved him for forever. Sunday is, uh, Sunday was his birthday. Now, you know, listen, we all have our things, we all have our interests and stuff, but you know, you've got to admit, you all of y'all at some point in your life, have liked a celebrity where you knew everything about that person and you were just gaga for them. Well, that's, he's my gaga person, okay? So anyway, my girlfriend and I, Jennifer, I'm gonna take this uh, this uh, kind of pinky purplish shade right here and I'm gonna put that um, as a crease color and I'm gonna use my elf brush. Me and my girlfriend, Jennifer, uh, <laughs> went to go see Rampage on, her, on his birthday and we went and got drinks before and uh, anyway, you know what, this palette ain't bad. I ain't mad at it. Look at that. That's pretty. So anyway, uh, you should have seen us. Two uh, 40-somethings sitting in a movie theater. We had to sit in the front row because uh, all the seats were sold out. You know, you have to you have to get seats in advance now for all these movies, right? So we're sitting in the front row just being totally obnoxious and screaming and squealing and hitting each other. And it was just hilarious. But anyway, so it gets better, okay? So then... That was a fun day. Let's put it that way. That was a fun day. But then the best part comes. So there's this little thing that goes around the country called Fandemic. I don't know if any of y'all heard this. If you have, raise your hand, say aye. Um, basically, this little thing they got called Fandemic is kind of like a mini Comic Con that goes around the country. Well, take that 8441 brush, dip back into that orange, run it through your crease again, kind of blend that pink shade. I like this palette so far. Okay, I'm gonna do the other eye in just a second, but basically, here's the thing, like, Fandemic, somebody, I, I wrote, you know, I had a big old long post about how Jennifer and I are total nuts, and we went and saw Rampage and blah, 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 and then a friend of Jennifer's commented, because I tagged her on a Facebook post, a friend of Jennifer's commented, oh, he's coming to Fandemic, in, in June. I'm like, what's that? Go and look it up, and sure as hell, he's coming to Fandemic. And guess who's gonna meet him? This girl right here. It's gonna cost me a pretty penny. That nobody's coming in handy, I'm telling you what, because, man, <laughs> I picked the right time to continue this nobody. Because every cent I have is going to meet in that dude. Anyway, so let me just do my other eye real quick. Hang on. Okay, gang, this doesn't have a um, metallic, any metallic shades in it, or any shimmer shades in it. And I like this green, so I decided to go into my Juvia's Place palette and use this Egypt shade. This is Juvia's Place Nubian 2. Okay, so continuing with the story, I'm going to load up my 362 shimmer brush. Okay? So continuing with the story, here's the thing. Uh, I bought those Fandemic tickets, and I brought them PDQ because I thought to myself, you know what? These may be expensive, but I know people like this guy, so I am not sitting on that. I'm getting them now. And I'm not playing. So anyway, uh, I talked to Jennifer. I said, hey, man, you got to come. You got to go with me. She's like, of course, and blah, blah, blah. And then I put, did another post about I'm going to meet him. And then everybody went God, God, nuts, said, oh, no, he's mine. And I said, oh, no, he's mine. Anyway, we're just stupid. You know, we're grown women. And we're acting like this. But anyway, it's all in fun, obviously. So let's just take that and put it on the lid. Say a prayer. Oh, that's going to look pretty. I wish it was a little bit brighter, but I wanted to stick with the jewel tone theme for this eye look. So I think that's pretty. It, it goes well with this. I might have to put a little bit of a deeper shade in the crease, maybe that black. I didn't really want to do the black, but I'm going to add maybe on a denser crease brush. That's not as fluffy. I'll add a little bit more of that, that cranberry shade that we had there. I'm finding that I can't take my shimmers too high. 
I gotta leave them below my crease a little bit. My eyes aren't completely hooded, but they're hooded enough that you know the shadow transfers. And when I'm wearing a bright color like this against the other these other colors, I gotta be really careful. Where's my elf crease brush? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, there it is. Okay, so I'm gonna take that um, that shade right there, um, that that pink shade again. So anyway, guys, you know, um, I'm obsessed to say the least. I mean, I guess you could you could uh, could have discerned that by now. But anyway, so we're just really excited to go, and I'm just pleased as punch because I'm a huge fan, have been for forever, and, um, you know, Jennifer, Jennifer is mostly a fan because of me. Like, when I told her he was going to be playing Negan, she was like, um, she's like, who is he? And I'm like, are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, okay, I digress. But anyway, let me do the other lid real quick, and then we'll move on to cleaning up the under eye, doing the eyeliner, and all that, that jazz. So hang tight. Doing that other eye. Anyway, I might be kind of at a better angle here, but anyway. So long story short, we're going to Fandemic, and it's in June. And like I said, every, every red scent that I have is going to this because... You know, when you gotta get the ticket, but if you're gonna meet your favorite celebrity, you gotta get an outfit or two, and shoes, and you gotta get your hair done, you gotta get your nails done. My husband's a good sport, let me tell you that. He's a very good sport, okay? Because uh, he's just like, yeah, yeah, you should go, you should go. I'm like, okay, don't mind if I do. I love that man, he's a great man, he really is. Uh, He's too shy to come on here, but someday you might, guys might get to meet him, hopefully. Let me finish this eye. Okay, we're gonna do a little wipe roux under the eyes with a Kirkland to wipe a toilette, which I love these things. Just do a little wipe roux under the eye, make sure I get all my um, fallout cleared up. And then we're gonna put some primer on. And you guys are gonna actually get to see me do my face a little bit. You can see kind of how I do it. Ta-da! Okay, I don't ever use tape. I used to do that, and no, 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 I don't do that no more. Sorry. I'm too old to be doing that kind of crap because I'm afraid that I'm just going to ruin my skin. Even if you take the tackiness off, it's still sticking to your skin, and that skin is so delicate. No, so I just wipe it clean, and then I do my the rest of my um, stuff, and then, then I clean it up again after I do my eyeliner. So let's get this primer out. Guys, didn't get an L primer, got to use my... Too Faced Hangover RX, so I'm just going to give myself a, a pump of that, maybe a couple pumps. This is a nice sticky but moisturizing primer because it's got that coconut water in it, and I don't really put it on my forehead. I mostly stick, keep it, keep it uh, in the center of my face predominantly because I don't really feel like uh, I need it on my forehead. This this area right here of my face, the center of my face, not really my forehead, gets super oily. And I'm just an oilier skin type. Um, I'm more combo or no, nah, normal on the outsides, but very oily in the middle. So I just call myself an oily skin type, to be honest with you, because my foundation, I can wear any foundation around the outside, but around the inside, no, no, no. I need myself a good foundation. Okay, I got the Elf Flawless Finish Foundation. I think I got it in the shade Sand. This one does look darker than the one that I had previously. And I just got the next shade down or up from that. I've tried this foundation and I like this foundation. I was really having a hard time finding a shade because I can't find a lot of these in store. So I was really, really frustrated. So I ended up picking this one up, just taking a chance and it looks like it's gonna work okay. So what we're gonna do is we're going to take it and we're going to do a little pump on the back of the hand. Come on now. Take us a second to, I'll do two pumps, okay. So anyway, so that's that. So we're going to Fandemic. And then uh, let me get my mirror out. Okay, this is gonna be a little hard to do because I do my I do my face makeup with a brush and then I blend it out with a sponge or a brush, depending on what I feel like using that day. Use that elf uh, flat um, foundation brush to apply it. This is how I uh, apply all my foundations because I feel like I get the best, most even coverage with that. You know what I mean? Because uh, sometimes if you just go in straight with a sponge, you know, you get 
all your product in one place and you go blend it out and then you don't have to worry about your sponge soaking up everything because you've got an even distribution of product over the rest of your face and a lot of people ask me how I do my brows first and then I don't uh, well a few people have asked me but about how I avoid getting uh, this this mat this shade this shade by the way matches me way better I think this is sand that they changed their shade names and I got the I got the lightest one because I thought oh I'm pretty fair and it was like I look like a ghost so that was no bueno but um, how I do my eyebrows before everything else and I can say that basically what I do is I um, take my concealer and then I clean up around the outside so it has kind of already kind of has a, fa a foundation underneath the foundation so it doesn't I don't have to get that foundation right up against my brow if that makes sense okay so I'm just gonna dab the the, the Real Techniques uh, complexion sponge on the rest of my foundation and I'm just gonna blend that out like so so anyway um, yesterday was a great day obviously for a pandemic and then um, also last night before I went to bed I found out and I jumped up out of the bed I was getting ready to go to bed and I was almost asleep but I decided stupidly to check my email before I went to bed and I come to find out that I got the bid that I wanted at my job now I work for the United States Postal Service I work at night and I work in processing and distribution okay I like this foundation but I can see right here that it's not it's not really um, it's not really the coverage isn't really good in certain spots and I put a pretty decent amount on it's it's okay I'm not mad at it but anyway so I work uh, I work graveyard for the United States Postal Service I have for over 13 years and uh, I work in processing distribution and I'm what they call a mail handler and so basically as mail handler um, you know we just do lots of jobs moving mail from one place to another I mean that's what everybody does but I mean we work parcels more than we do letters and we're not working in the station we actually have a processing facility where all the mail comes in all the mail goes out we have incoming mail which is local mail that's the mail I work and then we have outgoing mail which is other states foreign mail that's work in the evening and then I don't even know what the day shift does because it's dead in there I wouldn't want to work during day shift okay so let me get out my um, concealer and we'll continue with the story so we're just gonna just blend that out I'm not mad at it it's okay um, I think I probably might need a little bit more right here on the cheeks but I don't really like a very very full coverage anyway even though I've got some more discoloration because I'm older but anyway let me get my let me get my um, concealer out hang on got my concealer I've got the Milani retouch and erase concealer this is my current favorite concealer I'm really really glad that I found this because um, it's not any way like the um, Maybelline um, instant age rewind uh, in, in texture or finish or formula or anything but I was looking for a drugstore concealer that I really really liked that was more moisturizing and not as dry which I think the wet and wild none is good but I don't like it under my eyes so I got this one and I really really like it and it's cruelty free because I am trying guys I'm really trying to go cruelty free and it's been a little bit more of a challenge especially with complexion products and skincare and hair care so I'm it's not it's not going so well yet but I'm getting there say so take my elf um, what is this this concealer brush and I'm just dabbing it in there and I'm gonna run it underneath my eyes oops I already screwed up I meant to line my eyes um, before I did this part so we're gonna have to I'm gonna have to do my little trick later I'm not even lining them to be honest with you because this is really pretty just like it is knowing me that's not gonna happen because I'll probably end up lining them but sometimes I don't set the outside portion of my eye until I've done my eyeliner because I take I have a little trick I take my um, um, wet and wild liner along the edge of my liquid liner my wet and wild concealer along the edge of my um, liquid liner and I just kind of sh sharpen it a little bit I'm sure a lot of people do that but anyway I sometimes do that at the very end and then I set that little that little part of my eye and sometimes I don't even set it because my my goodness it really doesn't disappear throughout the day it stays pretty intact and it's kind of stays nice and moisturized because it's not it doesn't have much powder over it so it doesn't look a little it doesn't look so janky but anyway so 
anyway I got this bid I've been wanting to bid for the last month or so um, month or two month a month or so I had worked on the same operation um, as a mail handler for uh, nearly 12 years so in July in July yeah in July it would have been 12 years okay so there's that okay hang on one second I'm gonna get myself my powder and then we're gonna set it under the eyes happy to say that I found a powder for under my eyes that's cruelty free it's that um, reserve your Kermana it's basically taking the place of this guy right here which is the advanced radiance I really love this powder this one's not as good as this but it's close enough so just gonna take my elf small taper brush <laughs> we're talking about Emily Noel in this video this this gal uses this brush to set under her eyes and I have used it to set under my eyes ever since and I love it so tap that off and so we're just gonna use that that reserve your campana that's set under the eyes and I'm only gonna focus it right here I'm not gonna go out to the edge just simply because like I said I'm gonna put some more concealer there probably not 100% sure but I am going to usually because what it what happens is I usually do my concealer uh, after I um, do my eyeliner and I forgot I'm getting a little distracted trying to do this get ready with me uh, style video so anyway so let me just set the rest of my face and then we'll move on to the other complexion products okay guys I finally broke down and I got the elf bronzer palette I am so excited please oh yeah that's gonna be so nice guys look it's got four separate bronzers in it I probably should have picked up the dark one too because these are a little white but that's okay you know um, why would I need a dark bronzer palette who knows anyway okay guys so this has been kind of hard to do this and talk at the same time so basically let me just get this out of the way real quick basically what has happened is my coworker George who was kind of everybody's like dad on the machine you know the senior guy on the machine he retired and once he retired everything just got went to went to crap real fast um, everybody started acting really uh, stupid and acting um, like they were better than everybody else essentially what happens is George was playing the role of what they call a team leader and George was deciding where everybody was gonna work on the machine well it was kind of an unspoken thing that it went by seniority and so he would ask certain people before he would ask other people to do certain jobs so I can't really blame these guys that have taken over for George because they had that mentality but the difference between George and them is that George um, really uh, would help people he would help the people that were doing the jobs that nobody else wanted to do and now that he's gone it's like everybody fend for themselves run for the hills uh, I have high seniority I'm not doing this I'm not helping you I'm like whatever you know what? I had to get out of there so I bit out <laughs> okay so before I go on with that story let me just take a bronzer I'm gonna take this one right here okay this one appears to be one of the matte ones um, you know what I'm gonna take I'm gonna take this one over here this one's more than one of those rosy brown bronzers which I dig with those kind of rosy brown bronzers it's got a little bit of a rosiness to it I'm gonna take that one instead I'm gonna take the real techniques blush brush I love this for bronzer okay so I'm just gonna dip that in here it's got a nice taper oops my camera cut off okay I'm gonna take the real techniques um, bronzer brush um, no I'm gonna take the real techniques blush brush this is a great brush um, I'm gonna put it in I'm gonna dip it in that um, that rosier brown shade and I like this brush because it doesn't have like a super super um, fluffy um, top it has more of a tapered top so it's a really nice targeted placement but it's fluffy enough to blend it out and it's got that nice dual fiber brush so I'm just gonna hit that in the bronzer spots so anyway people at, at work are just really selfish and immature and I think you're gonna find that everywhere but I'm one of those people that I'm just like we all got to work together and it just seems really nonsensical to me that nonsensical that's not a word it seems like total nonsense to me that um, that people you know that that my supervisor would give over or relinquish his power to tell people what to do by basically making the employees make the schedule and he's got no spine whatsoever anyway um, I if you want if you ever watch my snapchat I've never told you guys about my snapchat because really my snapchat is about postal rants I do postal rants on my snapchat if you want to see funny postal rants then you can follow me on snapchat I'm not asking you to I do do some makeup stuff on there but it's mostly just me ranting about my job so I, that's why I don't really tell you guys about it but 
I like this bronzer. It's very blushy. You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of that e.l.f. cool bronzer. So anyway, um, my supervisor, who shall I not, who I shall not name, make it so you guys can see what I'm doing. Brushing it in that three motion, you know, bronzer one, two, and three down here. I'm, you know what? To me, when I look at myself putting on the bronzer, I don't see that I'm over bronzing, and sometimes I'll look at it later and I'm like, uh, yeah, that's a little much, Ames. Sorry, just holding that up. So, swirl that around. Really buff it in. No additional product. And then maybe just kind of hit underneath the chin and down the neck a little bit. Okay. So, let me just go get a blush. I got some blush here. And I'll be right back. Okay, I got three of these Elf Baked Blushes. I can't even tell what this one is. But this one is, I'm probably not going to wear this. I, you know, when you look at things online, you don't really know what the color is. This one's really dark. It's got, you know, it's got some, it's kind of some coral marbling running through it, but I can't read the name. And I'm not getting my glasses. Okay, and then this one is called Peachy Cheeky, which is the one I think I'm going to put on. And this one's called Blossom Pink. So, and these are their baked blushes. Okay, so let me get this out. I'm going to get out Peachy Cheeky. So anyway, my supervisor just, he doesn't, he doesn't want to be the bad guy. So he decides to go and make other people the bad guy. Um, and then, so he can't tell people what to do. He's completely relinquished his power. And I'm like, you know what, dude, I, you know, I can't work with these people anymore. You, you, you've uh, sabotaged this whole operation and I'm his hardest worker. So I don't know what the hell he's going to do, but I bid out and I got my bid. So that's, that's another thing I wanted to tell you guys about. So I'm going to take this, um, Studio Pro a brush from BH. It's really dense brush, but it's, this is one of those baked blushes. So I'm going to just load it up. I'm going to see these might be like the highlighters where I got to scrape off the top. I'll know once I put it on my cheek. Okay, so let's just try to put it on the cheek first. No, oh, no. It's going on there. See? I got me some color. And I don't really want an intense, like, you know, clown blush anyway. So let's just, let's just, you know, lay off the scraping off the top of these and we don't need something like that's going to make us look like uh, we tried you know super hard and just you know what I mean so anyway uh, I bid out my new bid starts Friday night and I'm excited because I get to go back to my old schedule which was having Saturday and Sunday nights off the only problem with that though guys is that my filming and uploading schedule might change a little bit because I don't really have as much time to film videos because I film most of my videos on Tuesday and Thursday. And if I'm working on Monday night, then Tuesday I'm asleep all day. So there's that. But anyway, I think I'll make it work somehow. These blushes are okay. Nothing to write home about. I might, after I use it, I might maybe scrape a little bit off and see if that makes it uh, a little bit easier to apply. Maybe I'm using the wrong brush, but I thought it'd be good to pick up a brush that was more dense. For some reason, I don't know why. Okay. I don't have a highlighter, let me just put a highlighter on and I will be right back. What other highlighter could I, could I pick than a Moonlight Pearls from um, ELF, which is that baked highlight. I've been wearing this like, a, I've been going gonzo with this, guys. I really enjoy this. I've been pretty much wearing it ever since I did my video with Candace, my girl, Cosmetic Chaos. Guys, I hope you subscribed to her channel when you saw that collab video. If you didn't, I'm gonna come for you. <laughs> anyway, okay. So, all right, I'm going to do my liner and do my mascara uh, and all of that stuff. And then we'll come back and do the lips because I don't have any liner. I don't have any mascara, um, but I do have lip products. So I'm just going to do the rest of my makeup and then we're going to come back and we're going to do the lips. Okay, so hang tight and I'll see you in a minute. Okay, I'm back pre-lipstick application um, because I thought to myself, I said, uh, I always forget to show them the lower lash line. I always do. So, all right, I'm going to go with it. I'm going to go with that purple right there. It's not on the top, but I thought it would be a nice uh, addition to the eyeshadow look. So I'm just going to take this real, um, it's not real techniques, it's Eco Tools. It's one of those dual-ended brushes. I don't really care for these brushes, but I do like this smudger brush. And there's another one that came in a set. I think this is it right here. And it's got a nice angled brush on the side. You know, if you didn't have like an eyebrow brush, you could use it for that. Um, and it's got a little bit of a kind of a, I hate brushes like this, you know, that flat, fluffy brush that's not really a crease brush, um, kind of stiff, um, and this one has a blending brush, but I don't really care for it, I do, but I bought the whole set just for this little uh, stubby guy, so I'm going to take it in that um, purple, that one right there, 
so anyway guys I bid out um, I had to go and you know like I said my supervisor he's just he's just lost in the sauce most of the time okay so look that's pretty see I just wanted to add some some more color to this oops you know fix that uh, concealer because I put some concealer along the edge of that um, liner and I don't really overset it under eyes are not looking so hot today oh well I didn't sleep too good last night so sorry if I'm looking a little janky today guys my bad okay so we're gonna do the other eye real quick this is a nice little fat brush that's kind of you can kind of smudge with it apply and smudge so I'm down with that I I just uh, I hate the lower lash line it's my least favorite thing to do I have a whole video plan talking about makeup application and um, my favorite things about it and my least favorite things about it. If you guys would like to see that, it's something I have on my uh, uh, docket. So let me just take this, um, what was the other brush I had? Um, where's my e.l.f. brush? Oh, there it is. Okay, here's my little e.l.f. crease brush. I'm just going to run it along that. I'm not going to put another color under there. I just don't. I don't have time for that kind of nonsense, but in multiple colors. I know it looks good, but I just want a little pop of blue, uh, purple down there, so I figure I'll just add that and then I'll just kind of diffuse it with that crease brush. Didn't do mascara yet, we're just going to skip the mascara and I'll do it after I do my lipstick and then I'll finish the video. Okay, so let me just grab the lip products you guys so you can see what I got, okay? Hang on one second. Okay, I got two liquid lipsticks. Two liquid lipsticks. I got this red one and this blushing rose, and this one is called a Red Vixen, I think, okay? Blushing rose and Red Vixen. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with my lips yet. Then I got this Prismatic Lip Gloss right here. That's pretty, Prismatic Lip Gloss. And then I've been wanting to get for a long time, I've been wanting to get the e.l.f. Duo uh, lipsticks the you know the two-sided lipsticks I've been wanting to get these for a long time and I finally got them and I'm super excited so I got the red one I've got the berries I think and I've got the nude one I think I skipped out on the pink one so let me think let me think let me think let me look at this look and kind of decide I think a bright lip would probably be best with it maybe a nude lip mm. berry lip berry lip. I think I'm going to go with a berry lip. So I'm going to take this one, which is the dual ended side one. It's the, it's the berries one. And I don't know what it's called exactly, but it's, I'll put it in the description box, but let me just get it open real quick. Man, these things take me forever. Oh man, I love these. I haven't even opened it yet and I already know I love it. Let's see what the colors look like. Ooh, I like that one. Look at that. It's kind of a rosy, like burgundy shade. Mmm. And then the other one on the other side is probably, they, these are called day to night lipsticks. It's a little bit more pinky rose. Did I get the pink one or the berry one? I can't tell, man. If I didn't get the berry one, I'm going to be mad. I think this is the berry one. I'm going to use that darker shade. And then, of course, I'm going to line my lips after because you guys know that's how I roll. Okay, so let's put on that dark berry shade. So, anyway. Yeah, I'm down. These are nice. I like this color. See, when you line them afterwards, you don't have to worry about it being messy. <laughs> Push my lips together, like grandma told me. Just kidding. Uh, nice, nice pointed tip on this, and it's a nice size bullet. These bullets, I know, I'm looking a little janky. These bullets are real skinny. I like that. Let me know, guys, are you like more into traditional lipsticks or liquid lipsticks? Because I really like traditional lipsticks. I can I could go both ways, but by and large, I, I like myself an actual like roll-up style lipstick. Okay, now see that's not very perfect, but when you get out a lip liner, then it changes everything, everything. Let me grab my little Cafe Olay pencil by Rimmel. Oh, guys, I need a replacement for these pencils. I need a replacement for these. Everybody's telling me the NYX pencils. I know. I gotta go get some, but I love these Rimmel pencils. <laughs> we sad not to use these anymore. That's how I line my lips. I take them. Go like that, kind of make that surprise face. Mm. 
and I go outside the lip line. I just do. Uh, on the middle and on the top. Okay. Wow. So far so good, guys. So far so good. Obviously, I couldn't try everything in this video, but I tried a lot of things. And I got two skincare products. Let me get those out real quick. Oh, these lipsticks, these lipsticks have a flavor. They have a flavor. I don't know how I feel about that, but I'm not going to eat it, so it's okay. All right, I got the Illuminating Day Eye, the Illuminating Eye Cream. I got this on the suggestion of Jay Kissa, who I am obsessed with currently. I knew who she was, but I never had really watched her videos, and I love her. And she's a cruelty-free YouTuber. Listen, I'm going to watch anybody on YouTube. I have a lot of friends here on YouTube that aren't cruelty-free. I don't really care if you are or you aren't, but I'm trying to do it. So I'm not trying to judge anybody. If you guys don't like, you know, if you guys aren't 100% cruelty-free, don't, I don't, that doesn't mean anything to me. I'm just trying to do it because I feel it's something I really want to do. Um, so she talked about this, this illuminating day cream, the illuminating eye cream. So I'm excited about that because I'm looking for good, affordable, cruelty-free skincare. I am, this is going to be a huge challenge for me. Skincare is so expensive. Okay. Um, and then I got the nourishing night cream. Okay. So I know these are cruelty-free, so I'm good to go uh, with a couple of those skincare products. And like I said, I got the liquid lipsticks and I got the lip gloss. Okay. So yeah, thanks for listening to my little rambles. I know I, I, this video is probably not going to go over very well. I, I don't know. I mean, it, it's just something I just decided to do. I thought you guys might like to see me using some of the products. I didn't put my mascara on yet. Yeah, I know. I, if I, there's anything I hate more than, um, lower lash line stuff, it's mascara. I'm not about that life. I might even put some false lashes on. You might see me wearing false lashes in the intro. Probably. I'm trying to get back into that. But most of the time I'm just like, this is taking me so long. I don't really want to go through that step. But anyway, guys, I hope you like this look. And uh, I had a lot of fun creating it. So anyway, so there you have it. So that's the end of this video. This is my elf 50% off haul. And I tried some of these things on for you guys. Um, basically, I'm not making a review about these things, but the first impressions, I love the eyeshadow palette. That I can tell you for certain. I love the colors. I think they're pigmented. They seem to blend really well. Um, you know, I have some good companion shimmers, uh, bright shimmers that I can use with that. Um, I do enjoy the blush, the, um, the um, bronzer palette a lot. I really enjoyed that. What else did I get? I got blush. The foundation's okay. I'm not like, you know, it looks all right. It doesn't look terrible. Um, prior to getting this shade, I was mixing um, the lighter shade that I had with my um, Maybelline foundation. I've got to use this up, obviously. And, oh, and P.S., if any of y'all um, like the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir, please, I need a replacement for this. This is my favorite foundation. Please, 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 I need a replacement for this. I like the finish of this. It's more dewy, but it's not so dewy that I look oily. And if I wear a primer with it, it just looks more natural. It doesn't look like a more intensive makeup. I really, really need a replacement for that. I'm going to try the Physicians Formula one, but I can't buy it right now because I'm on a no buy. So anyway, I got to use up what I have anyway. But I've been using the foundation, the lighter shade that I have of that Elf Flawless Finish Foundation with that uh, Maybelline Superstay Skin, uh, Superstay uh, Longwear Foundation. Um, and I... I mixed the colors and I like the finish of that. So, um, you know, it helped with the finish of that. So, you know, I'm going to keep wearing this. Obviously it's a good option for me. It's $6 full price. So it's affordable. Um, you just have to get most of all things online, but I like it so far. I don't think it's a terrible shade match on me. This one's sand. Um, the baked blushes are okay. Um, I like them okay. I did get some nice color from them. I think they might be a little bit finicky like the um, the highlighters. So I might just do a little bit of scraper on those two, but that's no big deal. I don't have a problem with that. I really enjoyed these double-sided lipsticks, but they do have a flavor. Keep that in mind. I don't know about the smell necessarily. Oh, shoot. <laughs> yeah, they have some sort of food smell. Um, I'm not real wild about that. I'm not wild about smells in general, but I love these. I love that you get two in one. It's a little bit bulky for a lipstick, but I'm not mad at it. I love dual-ended lipsticks. Colourpop, bring these back. 
people don't like these and I think that's just janky and crazy because it has a lip liner on one side. That's probably why people don't like using lip liners. What, what is wrong with lip liners? Lip liners are the best. Lip liners are my favorite things ever. But these remind me of this. The only difference between the color, these little ColourPop mini uh, lippy sticks is that you got a liner on one side and a lipstick on the other. But these are great because they've got that really skinny bullet, which I'm down, down with. And um, the, there's not so much product in there. I mean, you want a good amount of product for what you pay for, but these are $5 each, right? And then I got two liquid lipsticks. I haven't tried them yet, obviously, guys. So I'll have to give you a report later. And the Prismatic Lip Gloss I haven't tried yet. Okay, so that's it. That's the end of this video. I hope you guys liked it. I know I rambled. I was all over the place. I just thought that it would be fun to kind of tell you guys a little bit about what's going on in my world. And if you like this kind of video, great. If you don't, let me know. I won't do it again. I, you know, I just won't do it again. Um, I just thought it would be fun to do something different. So I hope you enjoyed it. And there you have it, my friends. This is the end of this video. Make sure, guys, enter my giveaway. Enter my giveaway. I just added new prizes to my giveaway. I added new ways to enter. Please subscribe. Subscribe before you leave. That's the most important thing because if you subscribe, then you can enter the giveaway. Also, guys, I've had comments on um, a few of my videos that people are not receiving um, my videos in their feeds. I don't want to be one of those annoying people that tells you to click the bell, but you have to click the bell. Click the bell. If you click the bell and you like the video, that is probably one of the best ways you can ensure that you are going to get my videos. You have to like them too. I, that, I think somebody, um, somebody, one of my subscribers mentioned that in my comments. Candace mentioned it and then another subscriber mentioned it. And so please guys hit the notification bell. I don't want to be, um, I don't want to be uh, begging and pleading with you, but honestly, it's super important that you do that and like this video and share it. Okay. Make sure you enter the giveaway guys and I'll see you next time. Bye.